Yeah. Um, okay. I think when we're looking at the wealth management platform, there's one very strong reasons behind why we're actually having high conviction uh, in this sector. Um, so I think uh, some people may actually witnessed uh, how the Chinese government has cleaned up the property, uh, you know, leverage situation in the last few years time, and that actually has also changed. Um, the mass market's perception on property investment as an asset class. So um, historically, uh, real estate is one of the key asset class in any household in China because they believe buying a property uh, will be more like a, a secured uh, long-term return. Uh, and that's why you know some assets is being allocated in this asset class. Uh, but the policy uh, that we have seen in property sector actually has changed that perception that uh, people know now that you know property is no longer uh, you know a investment asset it's not for speculation so the appetite for real assets is actually getting much lower um, and when we look at you know the Chinese household structure, when there's a large amount of uh, assets being allocated in real assets, and now it's actually you know having low appetite, where do this money go? Um, we actually uh, have a strong uh, thesis about these assets from originally from property will actually flow into financial service wealth management uh, platform products, and this is also something that uh, we are seeing the trend of the Chinese government that they are, the policy is fostering. Um, the growth of the wealth management platform by approving new products, by you know, um, uh, approving license for foreign, um, you know, institution to come into China uh, to you know offer more uh, 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 wealth management services and products. So uh, we actually expect this uh, to be uh, very uh, uh, constructive. Uh, because China in the wealth management platform, they are still at the very beginning stage. That not many products available. Um, Mutual funds is actually one of the popular uh, 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 products, uh, but other than that, uh, there could be you know enormous amount of room uh, to grow uh, the number of products, the types of products. So this allows different financial services platform, including banks, including wealth management platforms, including fintech platform, uh, to expand you know uh, the revenue as well as uh, the margin. So we are just at the tipping point that you know uh, this growth it's starting to drive the uh, wealth management platform, and it's you know being supported by uh, the policy. So we see policy tailwinds from there as well. So uh, East Money, uh, you know, which is one of our key holdings, uh, it's uh, a you know fintech company that sells financial products on um, their platform, and we've been seeing tremendous growth. Uh, the last few years time and we're actually expecting quite a decent double digit growth on both the revenue and the net profit uh, say three years down the road so uh, this has become a very uh, you know major uh, growth uh, areas uh, of our portfolio and at the same time it focuses on domestic uh, market and that means that we'll have less sensitivity to geopolitical risk